Matt, we got off to a good start in conference play with a pair of road wins at Pacific and Willamette. Give us a recap of this past weekend. Well, I was really pleased with our effort uh, down in Oregon. I thought on Friday night against Pacific, our uh, defensive execution was really strong. Uh, we executed our game plan, played with intensity, um, and we're really able to hold down one of the conference's best players in, uh, in Zatani, uh, holding him to, I believe, seven points uh, on the evening. and. Uh, that was critical for us on Friday night. Uh, also got contributions from a lot of different guys. Uh, CJ Gerlina came off the bench and uh, had a really good game and uh, gave us a nice boost in the first half to help us build a lead. Uh, on Saturday night, um, you know, I thought our defense in the second half uh, really allowed us to, 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 to make a big run. And uh, once the momentum started turning in our favor, our guys uh, really took advantage of the opportunity. So uh, it was a great start to conference play, but. Uh, as you know, it's uh, it's a long season and uh, time to look ahead. Now, fans might be looking at our stats and kind of scratching their heads a little bit in terms of uh, maybe some shooting percentages that are a little bit lower than we've had in previous years um, and, and uh, maybe a rebounding margin that's just now starting to, to come around to where we want it to be. So... Um, what is it about this team that they're figuring out ways to win even when things aren't going as smoothly as that you would want them to? Well, I think for us as a staff, that's kind of the exciting thing is because uh, we've just scratched our potential. Um, we've got guys that have uh, you know, great shooting ability, great scoring ability, and um, you know, I really look forward to them hitting their stride here as we, as we head into conference play uh, down the stretch. Uh, the fact that we've been able to win games, win close games, um, do it in different ways, especially with our defense here as of late, um, is a really good sign because uh, you've got to find different ways to win. And uh, I thought in the last couple weeks, especially our offensive rebounding has been critical to our success and uh, has been something that when you're not shooting the ball, uh, you really need to, to emphasize more. So um, our guys have a lot of confidence. Uh, we have a lot of confidence in them. and. Uh, it's just a matter of time before they start to come around, and uh, I'm excited about seeing that. Now we've got PLU and UPS coming in this weekend. Give us a quick scouting report on what we can expect from uh, those two Tacoma schools. Well, uh, both PLU and UPS are always tough outs. Uh, PLU is a very disciplined team. They play very sound basketball. Uh, they're very, very tough to beat because they don't beat themselves. And so uh, we understand it's going to be a grinder. Uh, we've got to be prepared uh, on the defensive end to defend uh, long possessions and, and then uh, hopefully uh, create good shot opportunities for us uh, on the offensive side of the ball. Um, UPS is much improved, uh, a very physical basketball team. They've got uh, tremendous athleticism and strength and uh, they mix up their defense as well. And, and uh, uh, both teams are uh, you know, very, uh, very tough, uh, both home and away. So. Uh, we're excited about the opportunity to, to get back in the field house and uh, play two tough opponents.